What is up guys, Coach Joe Garage Day Loss. Well, we are just gonna do a very basic training vlog. So today I'm gonna be doing uh, some bench press using the Elite FTS Shoulder Saver Pad. Gonna work up to a heavy set of five, then I have some accessories. So just gonna be running you guys through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Been doing a new program format that'll soon be out to the public. So hopefully you guys like it if you wanna try it out. And similar to exactly how I'm training, I'm just running it and experimenting with it. And then I'll put it out to you guys. Just gonna start slamming my new Jocko Fuel pre-workout here. This is the blue raspberry flavor and you guys can get this at Walmart. So collaborating with them, teaming up, helping promote the company. Check it out, it's good stuff. I'm gonna chug this, start warming up on the bench and we'll see if we can hit for a heavy set of five. One of the things that I haven't really talked about was about a year ago, I had tore my pec. I didn't talk about it because I just didn't want to put that on social media and it was a really weird freak thing. Uh, totally wasn't something that you would have thought would have happened. Opted not to get the surgery, uh, but some variations I can still feel something's up, which is why I've been sticking more with a close grip bench. Also using things like the shoulder saver, so that you know, I'm shortening that range of motion by one or two inches. Pec feels fine. I can still push heavy freaking loads uh, and get a good training stimulus in. So I'm at the point where the bench cutting it short one or two inches, you know, with range of motion doesn't necessarily matter to me. Uh, my bench is still going to be very strong, even if I don't ever do a bench where I touch my chest uh, for like a one rep max. I don't really care much about that. Uh, so if you guys have pec issues, shoulder issues. Definitely a great uh, piece of equipment to have. You know, it's, it's just gonna help you guys out, work through those issues and able to train. I like it a little bit better than a board just because there is a little bit of squish with the pad uh, where the board just for some reason can be a little bit uncomfortable because it's so solid on my chest. So for this, I can kind of still gauge, uh, you know, how that bench is feeling. I can get a little bit of cushion, a little bit of, not bounce, but just feel it sink into my chest like it, it normally wood almost on a regular bench press and I can really drive out of that bottom position. So overall, real happy about it. All right guys, so just finished up uh, the shoulder saver bench. We're gonna up to 385. Super freaking stoked about that. You know, it's, it's not the top of where my numbers once were, but we are on a great trajectory. So, been running this format for the last six weeks. When I started this, my five rep was around like 335, 345. Slowly just been creeping up and then hit this 385. Maybe could have done one or two more, uh, but the whole point is not to be an absolute max, just about an RPE eight or nine, and then hit my back offs. Overall, real happy about it. Now I'm gonna do uh, some, I guess, slight incline, alternating dumbbell presses for a unilateral press variation, which I've really been enjoying, and hopefully I'll be able to push a good amount of weight on those, and we'll probably do uh, three solid sets of eight to 10 per arm. So hit three sets of the alternating incline dumbbell press. I actually love doing these with the athletes I work with. It's a unilateral variation. I like that you have to stabilize with the upper body and the shoulder. So it's not necessarily like core work with some unilateral variations, uh, but you get more stability work, okay? That, that, that shoulder girdle has to stay put with 
the one dumbbell that you're pressing up, the other one, get a really good range of motion. So when I started this uh, a few weeks ago, I was in that 10 to 12 per arm rep range, a little bit lighter, so like 65, 70 pounds. And then each week started making small jumps to ending this uh, with 100 pounds for eight to 10 per arm. Now I still have one more week where I'm gonna add another set. So it'll be four sets, that's pretty much going close to failure. Uh, but I like doing these after I bench press because it's not as heavy, obviously, as the compound lift. So I can get more hypertrophy results and benefits from doing this accessory. And like I said, I had a pec issue, uh, but doing this with lighter weight, more reps, definitely allows me to gauge if something's not right before something bad happens, right? When you're doing really heavy weight, uh, you don't get much of a heads up until it's too late, okay? That weight is so much to handle that if something were to happen or go wrong, uh, that's pretty bad. So one of the reasons I like doing dumbbell work or machines even is you have a little bit more of a safety net or a heads up, uh, but these are great. I love doing incline variations. I've been experimenting with kind of like a mid incline. Typically I have it up probably two notches. So it's definitely uh, not as high as I've done in the past. Get a little bit more pec out of that than shoulders, which the chest is something I've always wanted to grow and have to grow just genetically. It's not a strong suit of mine. Real quick, you guys gotta look at these 100 dumbbells. These are at the lion's den. They're so just bent to crap. When I was doing my incline presses, I could just feel the dumbbell rolling in my hand and I had to find the right place to grab it. Uh, but Bill's character, I love it, but it's caused from all the people who would just do bench press or even like a circus dumbbell and just freaking just throw it on the ground. Uh, so if you are at a commercial gym or a small gym, just be cognizant aware of, you know, damaging the gym equipment because one, a lot of hard work and effort goes into that equipment. And then two, uh, you need to use it. So if it's busted or broken, you can't use it. But so you guys can see, <laughs> I mean, dude, look at this, look at the freaking bend. Obviously they're all rusted, which I don't mind. I've got my tetanus shots and it's all good, but you can see just like how freaking janky this thing is. But nonetheless, pretty cool, fun to use. All right, next on tap, we're gonna hit a superset, very time efficient. I'm gonna do some tricep pushdowns, which have just been climbing with weight over the last couple months. Uh, so very, very stoked about that, along with all the shoulder saver bench pressing I've been doing, or, or um, American Camber Bar bench pressing, where it's just been really getting those triceps super strong. I can feel it in my lockout, my overhead press. I'm absolutely just digging it. And then we're gonna do some deficit push-ups because uh, I'm trying to throw in some stuff in the past that I liked, like push-up variations, dip variations, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is usually day one of my upper body push day. And then day two, I have a couple different variations I throw in there. So we'll talk about that maybe in another video. Uh, but yeah, we'll get right to it. This one's gonna be uh, three sets back and forth, uh, probably about two and a half minutes rest between, and then I'll probably wrap it up. So just four total movements, uh, but give myself enough rest time to really push maximal effort with the weight that's being used. And I've just been noticing really good gains from that, where in the past, you know, I do six or seven exercises per session. Yeah, got a great pump, felt just destroyed after, but there's a time and a place when we wanna be absolutely destroyed. Um, and there's also, you know, a time and a place where we need to put a lot of effort into certain movement patterns. And it doesn't have to be a ton of exercises, uh, but we look from a long-term stress management perspective, you can still get great results. Sometimes more doesn't equate to more, sometimes less is more. And I'm sure you guys have heard that, uh, which I tend to find to be more true as I get older. And it's just been helping me get really strong and feel really good lately. And that's the name of the game is longevity and being able to keep getting in these sessions and not get hurt. But doing these deficit push-ups, I've been getting better and better at them. I did these about a year ago, a lot. And I originally started getting back into them when I was training with Dr. Mike Isertel back in like 2020, 2021. Uh, so don't overlook the basics, right? Like people think, oh, push-ups, just a easy beginner body weight thing. But these are great, especially when you're pre-fatigued that deficit, giving a really good stretch. Uh, I, I just enjoy them. And when I was doing the first two sets, I was like 25 to 28 reps, which was a lot more than I wanted to be doing. So I threw a band on 
instantly knocked it down to about 15 to 16 reps. So going to keep doing the band. I uh, just had a little bit more tension, still working that deficit, but I want to make it a little bit harder. Now, also doing the push downs. So right now I got 45, about 60 pounds on the push down, uh, just in weight. I don't know how much the actual contraption, you know, weighs when I push it down, um, but there's 60 pounds of weight on there, which over the last year and a half, man, I've increased the strength of those push downs like crazy. Now push downs are one of those things where I've been doing them since I was in the womb, uh, but they keep working. So if it's working, I don't care that it's a little bit boring. I'm gonna keep doing them, especially on an accessory like this, main lifts and variations. I tend to switch up every couple months just for the sake of monotony, where I've just kind of juiced it or squeezed it as much as I could. I need something else, uh, but these have always been tried and true for me. So I'm gonna keep trying to get them as strong as humanly possible. And the biceps, you know, they're, they're lacking in the arm department, but maybe I'll just go for like the most girthiest densest triceps uh, that ever created in history. Just kidding, I don't think I can ever beat uh, Rich Piana, but you know, so that's some time. So yeah, three good sets here, back and forth, and that's it for today. And then I gotta head out of here and go and film another video. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, very simple workout. Started off with a bench press up to a heavy five rep with about one or two left in the tank. Did my back off sets. We did the unilateral incline dumbbell press. Then from there, quick superset of the banded push-ups with the deficit and then the push-downs. About three sets for the accessories. Next week, I'll ramp it up to four sets, get pretty damn close to failure. And then we're gonna head into uh, three rep for my main lifts. I'll do that for a couple weeks and then drop down to some heavy singles. So I'll explain more about the program design uh, as we get closer to the release. If you're interested in it, definitely try it out, purchase the program. It's gonna be kind of a combination of the best of all worlds. So not only are you gonna be strong as heck, you're gonna be athletic, you are going to have muscle, uh, and just be able to perform all around because that's kind of where I'm at in my life and kind of always been the goal is kind of able to hop into different things and not necessarily do the best, but across the board on average, do very well. Um, and look the part too. So just being capable uh, and just also being a beast. Outside of that, uh, pole barn will be built in about 10 weeks. So middle of November, we're gonna be breaking ground. Should be up in a couple days and then I'll be documenting that. I'll be able to move all my gym equipment uh, to the new house inside the pole barn. That'll be the home of Barn de la Swole. Uh, and then we have the baby. <laughs> the baby will be born sometime this month. You know, it could be tomorrow, could be two weeks, I'm not sure. Uh, but just absolutely bonkers that I'm going to be a dad and a parent with my wife. We are so stoked and excited. It's also a little bit nerve wracking. Some of you guys can probably imagine, but shout out to all your parents out there. It's really cool to have started this channel, you know, a teenager and be in my 30s now. Uh, married, having a kid. The business uh, has evolved like crazy. So just what a journey, guys. What a journey. I appreciate each and every one of you that have been around for it or you're new to it. Feel free to go back and just watch some old videos uh, from where things were to where they're at today. Life is just absolutely crazy, but here for the ride and you guys are there with me. So that means a lot. Uh, and then t-shirts. So I'm gonna be releasing one of the designs for the t-shirts. So it's gonna be drop shipped. So it'll be a pre-order. You guys order it. Once that closes, we'll ship them out. If you like it, awesome. If not, totally cool. Uh, but I just wanna get that stuff out to you guys and finally get the momentum rolling with all these projects that have had a lot of hard work but it's time to execute on them. So that's it. Wanted to do a vlog. Maybe I'll do a couple more vlogs, some more sit down, talking point style videos if you enjoy those. Uh, but just trying to give you consistency with the content, but different forms of content that I also enjoy. And that just keeps me interested in putting videos out. Uh, so if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you need programs, we got the website that is a la carte programs. There's also the app, which is a monthly fee where you have access to all the programs or you can purchase it for the year, have access to whatever programs you want. Uh, so just very appreciative for any of you guys that you know support with your programs because a lot of people get super jacked, super strong and are smashing goals. So the proof is in the pudding. And if not, I'm just happy that you're here watching the video. I know I'm rambling on now, uh, but as you guys know, stay a lean, mean, strength, health machine. Catch you with you next time. Peace.